Let's look at how we can create masks when we generate our height fields using COPS instead of SOPS using something like the mask by feature node because it doesn't work by default when you're generating your height fields using COPS. So I'm inside of Solaris here. I'm just going to drop down a SOP crate. This is where I like to work. So let's dive inside of our SOP crate here. And normally we drop down something like a height field and then we do a height field noise to give us some sort of movement for, to our terrain. And we can drop down a height field mask by feature. And this is going to allow us to generate masks on our terrain. Now, if we do the same thing with COPS, so let's drop down a COP network. Let's go ahead and dive inside. We can drop down a fractal noise. And I'm going to, need to set this to be on the ZX plane. And then we need to do a couple of things to make it actually look like a height field. First of all, we're going to give this a name. We drop that down and let's call this height. And then we can drop down a primitive properties and set this volumes of it, uh, adjust visualization from smoke to height field. And let's make it the same size as our height field that we generated on the left by doing a HF transform. And I'm going to set this to be 500. Now, if we look at this, let's go ahead and scale this back to maybe let's do like 0.3, something a little bit closer to what we would see with this height field noise. So if I take this and now I generate a height field mask by feature, we are not actually going to have anything being displayed for our mask. So there's a couple of issues that are causing this. The first one, if we look at our properties here for the mask by feature, where we're generating our height field and SOPs, you see we have two volumes here. We have a height and we have a mask volume. If I come to our cop generated one, we only have one and that's going to be called height because we named that volume here. So we need to get a second volume and that needs to be called mask. So I'm going to actually delete this name because we don't actually need that as long as we are outputting the names properly. So let's drop down a null. Let's wire in our noise for the uh, first input and then we can do the same thing or whatever we want for the second input. For now, I'm just going to add in the second one here for our second input. And I'm going to drop down or name this um, height as our output one and then mask for our output two for our null. So now if I come back here, if I look at our primitive or our properties here of our node, you can see that we have a volume called height. If I uncheck this single output, we're going to have a second one that is going to be output and this one is going to be called mask. So now we've named them properly. We are displaying them. So our primitive properties, we're adjusting those to be a height field and our transform is turning them into uh, the same size as we would expect. So now with our height field mask by feature, oops, you can see this still does not give us what we would expect from our height fields. So to fix this, we need to drop down a volume visualization. So once we do this, we need to, we can set this visualization mode to, um, sorry, not height field, but um, no change. And then we can change our density field to height. And our diffuse field, we'll call this mask. And right away, you see we get some coloring going on here to make it match what we would normally see with our mask by features. Let's change this to white. And let's change this one to red. And now we have the same thing that we would expect from our height field mask by feature. So we can come in here and we can mess around with our slope. We can change it to be by height, compute our range. You do all of the normal things that you would do with a height field mask by feature. And the reason for this is because it's now expecting, it's now getting what it's expecting, right? It has this second volume called mask and it knows how to visualize the different fields. So that's what this volume visualization is doing. I was also asked why I don't use the height field visualize node. So if we take a look at this, we can actually see 
if I reset our viewport, sometimes this happens with cops. If I look at this, we can see that we have our fractal noise here, and then this height field visualize is going to give us um, what our height field would look like inside of COPS directly. So I don't really like using this just because it is going to output, if we look at this, it's going to output a height field as well as three different color volumes, which I don't really necessarily need. So as long as we set up this null with the proper naming conventions, we can export whatever we want. And then if you actually look inside this height field visualize, the way that this is working, if I go inside this SOP invoke, you can see we're just naming the different volumes. We have a height here and we have a color volume here. And then we're taking a primitive node and we're just adjusting the visualization here. And we are also taking a volume visualization here and we are mapping these to the different fields. So it's doing essentially all that we are doing up on the SOP level. But this just gives us control on which ones are named, which volumes are named what, and we can, you know, set the, the different um, visualization modes if we wanted to change them for whatever reason, we can do that. We can also change our color. If we want to have a different color, we can do that easily through this volume visual visualization. So it's just a, a personal thing. I don't say that there's anything necessarily wrong with this, but if you want to output what you would expect as far as a mask volume and stuff, you're not going to get that directly with this height field visualize, which I'm a little confused at why they chose that, but uh, I guess um, that's just what they wanted to, to roll with. So I would be interested to see them outputting just a regular mask instead of the color, but this is how you go about doing that without that. So again, we can come back to this and you can see with our field set, we should be getting the same thing once we switch this over. So we have the similar thing as we have with this um, height field mask by feature just in SOPS. So we've replicated everything that we would have as far as this is concerned on the SOPS level. So hopefully this has helped you out. This does um, a little bit of different workflow. It took me a little bit to figure this out. So um, hopefully this helps you guys to getting your mask and everything set up inside of COPS. And again, we don't have to actually, you know, output just a uh, fractal noise to this. We could output a constant. It doesn't really matter as far as this is concerned. All that we're looking for is to have a volume there initially. So this mask is going to be overriding whatever that is anyways. So you could actually take this if you wanted to and you can output um, the mask itself and use that. So if we look at this, instead of replacing, you can click add and you can see that we have our noise that's actually being output here. So I could take this to make a copy of this. I'm going to wire this into our mask. And maybe let's crank up the amplitude and our center. Let's drag this down just to get that a little bit um, more contrasty. And you can see that now we have you know, our mask being output here. Um, we're not actually doing anything in this mask by feature. We're just going to have this kind of displaying the, the pass through here. So I can lock my viewport here and I could come back in here with this fractal noise and I could, I could come in and actually I could do something like a ramp or a remap. And I could bump up the contrast here and I can control this all directly in SOPS as well. So you can do things directly in SOPS where you don't have to actually do this inside of SOPS. You can do whatever operations you would normally do inside of COPS and bring those in, as well as we could just output this volume. So all we're doing with this is just uh, basically visualizing it. So we could, um, let's see, we could do a height field noise here and we could take this, oops, take this noise and we can just displace that using our mask volume here. So now we're getting just that a mask where we have that placed and I can 
adjust this accordingly, however I want. You can see that that is kind of matching what we're seeing here in our little preview. So as I maybe drop that output max, you see that kind of start to fade in and fade out. So it's just applying that noise wherever we have that mask volume um, being input for our um, height field noise there. So you can do things directly inside of COPS and we could just output that mask if we wanted to. And you can see where that, what that gives you. But this allows us to work with COPS to generate our masks and not have to do that directly inside of SOPS. It gives you a little bit of extra control and some different um, options for you, if you will. So hopefully this has helped you out. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.